Hey everybody, David here, and this is another Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition class breakdown tutorial, and this deals with the Bard archetype, the College of Lore. Now, the College of Lore is a really nice addition that goes on top of your base Bard class features. Now, not only are you going to get everything from level 1 through level 20, including your bread and butter, Bardic Inspiration, all of your other skill check you know, additions like expertise and jack of all trades, all of your ability score improvements, your song of rest, magical secrets, and superior inspiration, and that's not even including being able to cast spells with the spell range of level 1 to level 9. You're going to get to choose at level 3 a bard college, and this is about the college of lore. Now, Bards of the College of Lore know something about most things, collecting bits of knowledge from sources as, diver as diverse as scholarly tombs and peasant tales. Whether singing folk ballads in taverns or elaborate compositions in royal co courts, these bards use their gifts to hold audiences spellbound. When the applause die down, the audience members might find themselves questioning everything they hold to be true, from their faith in the priesthood of the local temple, or maybe to their even king, their own loyalty to the king. The loyalty of these bards lie in the pursuit of beauty and truth, not in fealty to a monarch or following the tenets of a deity. A noble who keeps such a bard as a herald or advisor knows that the bard would rather be honest than politic. The colleagues' members gather in libraries and sometimes in actual colleges, complete with classrooms and dormitories, to share their lore with one another. They also meet at festivals or fairs of state where they can expose corruption, unravel lies, and poke fun at self-important figures of authority. So the College of Lore is the total opposite of the College of Valor. The College of Valor deals with more of a scald or melee type of bard. Now the College of Lore relies more on skill checks and magic. So. At level 3, when you choose your college, you will choose the College of Lore, and you get bonus proficiencies. Now, this is when you gain proficiency with three skills of your choice. So on top of everything else, you know, your expertise, your spell casting, you will get at level 3. You're going to get to choose three more skills and add your proficiency bonus with those three skills. Really straightforward. Next, you're going to get at level 3, also cutting words. Now, cutting words is where you learn how to use your wit to distract, to confuse, and to otherwise sap the confidence and competence of others. When a creature that you can see within 60 feet of you makes an attack roll, an ability check, or a damage roll, you can use your reaction as long as you have one to expend one of your uses of bardic inspiration and rolling that bardic inspiration die and subtracting the number rolled from that creature's roll that you were trying to distract, confuse, or otherwise sap. So, when you choose to use this feature, you need to make sure you, when you roll this, you take the number and you have to determine whether the attack roll or, or ability check succeeds or fails. Now, this means that you have to you have to actually subtract the number before the dungeon master tells you if it's a success or not a success so that's the one thing that you have to do now also take into consideration that the the creature is immune if it cannot hear you or if it's immune to being charmed pretty straightforward so just make sure when you use cutting words just say hey hold on just a second dungeon master i think i'm going to go ahead and use this bardic inspiration do it and subtract the number you'll be able to subtract it from you know the attack roll or from the damage before the damage is dealt to you or you know from the skill check really straightforward now next you're going to get when you hit level six you're going to get additional magical secrets so this is when you learn two spells of your choice from any class this can be any classes, even your own class, the bard, the cleric, the druid, the sorcerer, 
the warlock, the wizard, anything you want, the paladin, the ranger, any spell list, you can choose two. Now, when you choose these two spells, they have to be of a level that you can cast. So, at level six, you can cast first, second, or third level spells. So, these spells that you choose, these two spells, must be of first, second, or level, and they can be a spell or a cantrip. Now, these spells that you choose, they count as bard spells for you now, but they do not count against the number of total bard spells you know. So, at level 6, you know a total of 9 spells between 1st, 2nd, and 3rd level. Additional Magical Secrets allows you to take these two more, which really, in reality, raise your maximum from 9 to 11. So, Additional Magical Secrets is really nice. Now, Magical Secrets is baseline bard, and you'll get that at level 10. But those spells that you choose, they actually count as part of your spells known. So, just remember that, and just don't get regular magical secrets confused with additional magical secrets. The last thing that you're going to get from the College of Lore is at level 14, and that is Peerless Skill. And this is when you make an ability check, you can expend one of your Bardic Inspiration. Roll a Bardic Inspiration die and add the number rolled to your ability check. You can choose to do so after you roll the die for the ability check, but you have to do so before the Dungeon Master tells you if he or she says if it's, if it's successful or if it's a fail. So, straightforward, but to break it down for you, if you do a skill check, you think it might be low, you have to declare you're going to use that Bardic Inspiration quickly before the DM says success or fail. Then you can go ahead and roll your Inspiration die, whether it be, uh, you know, at 14th level it'll be higher than a D6, because your Bardic Inspiration does raise as you level. So you'll get to add that to your skill check. It's really nice. Straightforward, and that's what you get as a College of Lore. Like I said, this is more of a, a magic slash skill type of uh, archetype, which is really nice. It uh, it adds a lot more diversity to the baseline bard, which is already I mean, which is already really nice to begin with. So, all right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and. If you need any Dungeons & Dragons character sheets from 5th edition, I have over 840 character sheets. Every level, every class, every archetype, ready to go on three-page PDFs. You can just download it and go to your game. So and that's at tabletopping.net. So thank you again, everybody. I truly appreciate it. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Toodaloo!